Okay, I want to talk to you about hooks. Hooks, C hooks, U hooks, um, fish pins, large, small. Oh gosh, they are all kinds of all kinds of things you can use to prop up your painting. And and as a couple of people pointed out, you do have to be really careful. Um, and, and I don't want to make this, um, you know, um, what do you call it? Belittle this topic in any way. Uh, it's very important because if you look at this grain here, this is Michael's grain, this is Michael canvas, you can see that it's, it's grainy and it's going across the grain here. I will be nervous putting this large hook in. Now, I've done it, and I, and, uh, and, it, and it worked, but let me tell you, there is an ever so slight line here where it started to crack. It's very small, but it doesn't matter. Um, I could have stopped. I, I, I kept going once I saw it. I wanted to see how far it would go because this is a painting that I've been working on a long time. It's not a pour, but um, I wanted to, I just wanted to show you to be, to be in, in all fairness, okay? Because I posted recently that I love these and I still do, but it all depends on your canvas and the anatomy of your canvas and the, the grain of the wood and the width of the wood and the potential for cracking the wood. And just because something might be uh, you know, thin, just because something might be wide, it doesn't mean it's not going to crack. I've had frames do it. It's just the nature of real wood, or, or even pressed wood, probably. Um, so I wanted to just, full disclosure here, this is a U-hook. This worked in this case, but um, I'm not going to push my luck here, okay? So just beware. I used one painting that I put these on and it was beautiful. It, it, I had no cracks, okay? Um, let me show that real quick. Oh, because I, I took the tape off because I wanted you to see that I had no, yeah, I took the tape off so you could see there were no crack, there was no splitting, no splitting when I used these hooks. I uh, hope you can see it. Um, so, and just to, just full, dis just Full disclosure here, you really have to, and you can see that this is the same, about the same, but look at the grain. Look at this grain versus this grain. I'm not surprised this has a small split. Um, okay, so just please know your wood and please be careful. Um, so that's one. Okay, they work terrific sometimes. So I'm going to take this out. Okay, and I'm going to show you that even though this has a split, which we don't want, I mean, I don't want it, it still didn't, um, it did not compromise the frame in any way. Um, I hope you, and you can see it. There you go. I, um, Thank God. Okay. Thank God. But you don't want to push it. So I'm not going to push it. Uh, I'm, I'm a daring person, but you know, I have my limitations too and it's fine. So let's talk about these puppies here. Now these are sea hooks. These are fantastic. They are not as thick. They also don't hold the painting up is high, but they're very sturdy, very heavy duty. I got a bunch of them, a bunch of them on Amazon. I, I have to tell you, I try to support our local hardware stores. I go to our local paint stores. I go to our local, you know, hardware stores for things. And they don't always have what I need and, and, and or the volume, you know, the, maybe the number, the amount that I need. So, but these guys are, these are sea hooks. These um, are the screw is not as um as thick around so i drilled a hole i took a screw with my screw gun and i took the you know um, a small screw and i drilled a hole right here okay right here 
to get it started to make it easier. So I'm going to take this hook here. I'm going to just gently again, and I can hear the wood giving. I'm nervous because of the grain of this wood. So I'm um, so far so good because it is the width around the screw is thinner. It's not as thick. The wood is not is not splitting at all. And uh, and it's good. All right. So the reason I'm in the reason I there's so many ways to prop these up. Um, gosh, there's some great inventions out there. Molly's artistry. Wow, she's she's created this um, patented, I think, this awesome, these awesome holders. Uh, Tracy Reed showed showed something on uh, a feed uh, when I published the, um, when I posted a, a, about the U-hooks. Uh, Just phenomenal stuff out there that are probably better, but the, not, and there is no but. Also, okay, let's say also, when you want to move your painting around, you can lift it up and you know realign it, and and there's ways and tricks to do that with you know effortlessly. Um, and and what I like to do is I like to move it around without worrying about having to realign it up, and you know that's just th there's no criticism for any product out there except anything that could potentially hurt your wood. This did not. Okay, so we have this, we have this. You have to pay attention to the grain. Pay, uh, pay attention to the grain. Pay attention to your wood, uh, to the width. Uh, very, very, very critical. Uh, be careful, okay? So this worked fine. Now, okay, you also have these. Now I learned about these guys on Gina DeLuca's website, who I also uh, learned about acrylic pouring. Gotta love Gina, she's awesome. And I even have a set of her cards, wonderful stuff. And I even have um, this, uh, her phone, um, her phone holder that she uses to, uh, to uh, create videos and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, right now I'm using my husband's um, tripod, but only because I didn't want the table to move, but yay. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, everybody, for all the wonderful things that you put out there. Um, so anyway, these things are great. Uh, the screw part is is thin, okay? It's thin. It's, it's not going to hurt your wood. I seriously doubt it will hurt your wood. But let's give it a shot, okay? Just, actually, I don't really even, I, you know, I guess I will on this one because it's a good piece to, because it's grainy, it's a good piece to, to, to check it out on, okay? So, oops, gotta get, gotta have it go the right way, right? Okay, so let's pull this puppy out. Wow, this wood is really grainy. Here, uh, oh, even this one gave me a little bit. Now here's the, th here's, can you see it? Ah, can you see it? Here it is. Okay, so here we go. Let's put this in. Now these are, are skinny, so you gotta, you gotta be gentle because I have bent them. And I'm, I'm absolutely having no trouble with these whatsoever splitting the wood, whatsoever, okay? The only problem is this, this is a heavy piece of canvas. This is a heavy canvas, heavy wood. And um, I, I just don't think that these particular hooks will work for this, okay? They're, they're not very sturdy. They're sturdy for, for other canvases, but not for this one. So, but I wanted to show you that it didn't hurt the grain um, and this is very grainy, okay? So here we have, we've learned about this. We've learned about the larger ones, the larger C hooks, U hooks. The wider the wood, probably the less grainy, 
so be careful. These are awesome, but there's, there's a time for these and a time not for these. Same with these. Same with these. Okay. Here's one that's vinyl coated. I love these. I love, I use these a lot. Okay. They're vinyl coated. They're easy to put in. Um, I don't typically use them on my bigger frames, but I have because they're really sturdy compared to these, you know, metal ones that aren't, um, there's just not much as much to these as there is to this. So I've used these. Uh, they just don't hold your, your picture up that high. Okay. Then you have, these are very large push ones. I have them in a uh, a box I recycled with had vanilla candy in it. Um, so I got these push pins. Oops. Um, and I'm always sticking my fingers with these. I just must be a klutz. But I've used these two, and they work. They work. They work great. Um, good. They work good. They work very good. Okay. So, um, and then of course I began besides. The ones I learned from Gina, I started with the smaller push pins for your, you know, your thinner type canvases. They come in uh, uh, these little sizes here. Here you go, puppy, this little puppy here. And then they come medium size too. So I've tried them all. This is really sharp, this one, so be careful. <laughs> I stuck my finger a few times with that. Okay, so I wanted to just you know go over that because it's it's an important, really, really important topic, and and with having said all of this, and I hope you got something out of it. I always try try to give some back if I can. So if we look at this one right here, this is something that I'm going to. It's a resin painting I'm working on, and you can't see it because the sun. And I've also seen it, so you can't really see it. But it's a piece of uh, cradled wood. And I have now, if you look at this, you see this is, this is not very wide, okay? But the grain is, um, this is, this is so hard. This wood is really hard. And I was able to get this screw in here, right here, without any splitting whatsoever, not even a mark. Now, I wouldn't dare try using, there's no reason to either, using a bigger, a, a bigger C hook or, or a U hook. There's no reason for that. But I'm, I'm delighted that I can use these and because then I can um, adjust it uh, so that it's nice and flat um, level, I should say. Okay, I think that's it. I, you know, I really just wanted to go over all the many, all the many ways that you can, um, that you can put something, use, you can use cups, I've used cups, I've used, gosh, I've, I've tried everything. I've tried everything and I'll keep trying everything and there is no one thing. You know, everything's different and, um, but I, I'm not here to lecture you, I'm just here to tell you uh, what I've learned and uh, to address some concerns about the these U-hooks and that these are fantastic, but please be careful. When you put these in, go nice and slow. Pay attention to your grain. If you see it start to split, change it. Change it out, okay? And that doesn't mean it's not going to split with this one either, okay? It just could just be the wood. Then you might have to just um, use something else. You know, use one of the other inventions that are out there that are absolutely fantastic. All right, that's uh, that's my take for today, guys. Have a have a super super day. Bye bye now.